China just built a train station the size of a city. Few places test the limits of engineering like Chongqing, a city carved into cliffs, wrapped by rivers, and home to more than 30 million people. For centuries, its beauty was inseparable from its isolation. But now, China has built a solution so vast it almost feels unreal. The Chongqing East Railway Station. Covering 30.1 million square feet, it's nearly the size of an international airport terminal, larger than London Heathrow's Terminal 5, and big enough to swallow 107 football fields. Calling it a station barely does it justice. It's closer to a horizontal skyscraper. This colossal structure rises and sinks through eight stacked levels, housing high-speed rail lines, metro networks, shopping malls, offices, and hotels, all under one seamless roof. At peak hours, it can move 16,000 passengers every hour, a small city in motion. Step outside, and you're not just leaving a building. You're stepping into a brand new district built entirely around it. It's the largest high-speed rail hub on the planet, and it's about to reshape how Western China connects to the rest of the country. But how did Chongqing, a city many outside China have never even visited, become home to something this monumental. If projects like this excite you, don't forget to subscribe for more stories about the world's most ambitious construction. Carved deep into the mountains of Southwest China, Chongqing spills along the Yangtze and Jialing rivers, a city of bridges, ridges, and endless vertical layers. It's breathtaking to look at, a skyline that climbs instead of spreads, but it's also a maze. Roads twist and climb up steep hills, Bridges leap across wide rivers, and whole districts are divided by natural walls of rock and water. In a city like this, transportation isn't just infrastructure, it's survival. It's what keeps the city stitched together. For decades, though, that lifeline was stretched thin. Chongqing's early railways crawled through valleys and tunneled through mountains, making long journeys unpredictable and painfully slow. When China's high-speed rail revolution took off in the 2000s and 2010, the city finally began to catch up. Chongqing North Station became its proud new gateway. Sleek, modern, and fast. But it didn't take long for the cracks to appear. As the city's population kept booming, demand exploded. Chongqing North overflowed with passengers during peak seasons, and the city's rugged terrain made expansion a nightmare. Expensive, complex, and logistically brutal. Meanwhile, Beijing's central planners were sketching out two of the most ambitious infrastructure blueprints in modern history, the Chengdu Chongqing Twin City Economic Circle, designed to turn the two megacities into Western China's economic powerhouse and the eight vertical, eight horizontal, high-speed rail grid, an audacious plan to link every major Chinese city into one seamless, high-speed network. Chongqing, sitting at the crossroads of both visions, was destined to become the heart of this new Western frontier. But there was a catch. Without a larger, better connected hub, the city couldn't fully realize its potential. So, in 2019, China made the call build a brand new terminal on the city's eastern edge. This wouldn't merely handle train, it would anchor an entire new district, serving as the eastern gateway to Chongqing for generations. The story of Chongqing East didn't begin overnight. The project was first announced in 2018, when national planners officially designated the site as the core hub of Western China's future rail grid. Ground broke later that year, setting off years of massive earthworks to carve a level base out of the city's mountainous eastern edge. By 2022, full-scale construction was underway, and in just 38 months, engineers transformed a rugged hillside into the world's largest railway station. The roof's 1.2 million square feet steel shell was hoisted into place in early 2025, marking the project's defining milestone. On June 27, 2025, Chongqing East Railway Station officially opened to the public, an almost impossible feat of speed and precision for a structure of this magnitude. Behind its breathtaking size lies an equally staggering investment. The entire Chongqing East project 
cost an estimated $5.8 billion, about 42 billion yuan, a sum comparable to building a medium-sized international airport from scratch. The project was jointly financed by the central government, the Chongqing Municipal Authority, and China Railway Chengdu Group with additional public-private partnerships funding the surrounding East Station Hub New City. Just the 1.2 million square feet steel and glass roof alone consumed nearly $600 million, an engineering statement as much as a structural necessity. Walk inside and the sheer scale hits you. The complex stretches across eight stacked levels, above and below ground. The upper decks host 15 platforms and 29 tracks, for both high-speed and conventional trains. Beneath them lie entire floors dedicated to metro lines, bus terminals, parking garages, and sprawling commercial zone. At full throttle, Chongqing East runs like a living organism in motion. The terminal currently handles around 280,000 passengers per day, supported by 226 train pairs operating across both high-speed and conventional line. During national holidays, daily ridership is expected to surge past 350,000 travelers, rivaling Guangzhou South and Beijing South stations, long considered China's busiest. Its 15 platforms and 29 tracks are designed to process up to 16,000 passengers per hour, with room for future expansion as new lines come online. City planners estimate that within a decade, annual passenger throughput could exceed 100 million, effectively transforming Chongqing East from a regional terminal into one of Asia's primary transport gateways. What makes Chongqing East truly revolutionary isn't just what happens inside its walls, it's what's rising all around them. The station anchors a brand new 37.7 million square feet urban district known as the East Station Hub New City, a pilot project in China's next generation station city integration model. Here, transport infrastructure doesn't simply serve the city, it creates one. Around the terminal, a dense web of offices, hotels, shopping malls, residential towers, and landscape plazas is taking shape, designed so that everything a traveler needs lies within a 10-minute walk. Elevated walkways connect commercial centers directly to the concourse levels, while green corridors and open parks soften the transition between rail and resident. This isn't a commuter zone, it's a fully-fledged downtown built from the rails up, where mobility and urban life merge into a single, continuous environment. Building something the size of a small city in barely three years sounds impossible, yet that's exactly what China just did. Yet for all its scale and promise, building Chongqing East was anything but easy. A project that had to wrestle with nature long before a single beam was raised. Chongqing's eastern districts are notoriously unforgiving. Summers routinely climb above 40 degrees Celsius, and the city's mountainous terrain turned even basic leveling into an engineering marathon. Carving out enough flat ground for the immense platforms and halls meant moving mountains, literally. Each layer of earth sliced away with surgical precision. And then came the roof, a 1.2 million square feet giant made of steel and glass weighing over 1650,000 tons. Hoisting and securing that enormous structure safely above the concourse demanded both muscle and machine, and China's engineers turned to automation to make it possible. To meet the ambitious 38-month timeline, robots and AI became the backbone of construction. Laser-guided bulldozers leveled the terrain with millimeter accuracy. Screeding robots poured and smoothed concrete, continuing work even in extreme heat while keeping human workers safe. Glass installation robots delicately positioned 800 kilogram panels with perfect precision. AI-powered patrol bots roamed the site, scanning for hazards before they became problem. The result? Efficiency tripled, labor costs were cut nearly in half, and heat-related accidents dropped to almost zero, a masterclass in automated construction. The design itself is just as ingenious. Platforms sit elevated above the city, with concourses, metro lines, shops, and public spaces tucked neatly underneath. This bridge-plus building layout creates nearly 4.3 million square feet of extra usable space, reduces passenger walking distances, and saves more than 20 hectares of land compared to traditional design. Beneath the station's soaring roof lies one of the most intricately connected transport networks in western China. Four metro lines converge here. Line 6, already in full operation, 
lines 24 and 27 currently under construction, and line 8 in advanced planning. Beyond rail, the terminal integrates a vast bus hub, long-distance coach bays, dedicated taxi corridors, and multi-level parking structures designed for rapid passenger turnover. Surrounding arterial roads have been completely rebuilt to form a looped access system that keeps traffic flowing even during rush hour. The result is a true zero transfer hub where travelers can glide seamlessly between high-speed rail, metro, and urban transit within a single connected ecosystem. For decades, the rivers and hills that gave Chongqing its breathtaking beauty also divided it into scattered districts. Now, with a colossal new transportation hub rising in the east, the city has finally found a way to overcome its own geography. For the people who will use it every day, the impact feels deeply personal. A student traveling to Chengdu can now make the journey in about an hour instead of four or five. A business traveler heading to Beijing can leave in the morning and arrive by mid-afternoon. Once the metro lines are fully connected, suburban residents will be able to ride straight into the terminal and transfer to a high-speed train without ever stepping outside, a blessing during summer months when temperatures often soar above 40 degrees Celsius. Chongqing East stands apart as a single sweeping architectural giant, a continuous megastructure where transportation and urban life blend seamlessly into one. But what truly elevates its importance is its strategic position within China's vast high-speed rail network. The station sits at the crossroads of some of the nation's most vital corridors, serving as the central hub of the new Chongqing Xiamen Line, which links the mountainous southwest to China's bustling southeastern coast. In the coming years, it will also connect to the Shanghai Chongqing Chengdu high-speed route and the Chongqing Wanzhou Line toward the northeast. These links place it squarely within China's eight vertical, eight horizontal national grid, the master plan for a fully interconnected nationwide high-speed rail system. From Chongqing East, trains can surge north, south, east, and west, making it a true crossroads of the entire country. On a global scale, few stations can match Chongqing East's audacity. New York's Grand Central Terminal, long hailed as a symbol of 20th century ambition, spans just under 2 million square feet. Japan's Nagoya Station, once the world's largest by footprint, covers about 4.4 million square feet. Even China's own Guangzhou South, among the busiest on Earth, occupies roughly 6.6 .6 million square feet. Chongqing East eclipses them all at 13.1 million square feet, more than double its nearest rival, yet built in barely three years. While Tokyo's Shinjuku Station still handles more daily passengers, it does so through a cluster of interconnected complexes. Chongqing East, by contrast, achieves its volume within a single unified megastructure. In both form and philosophy, it marks a turning point the moment when transportation architecture stopped being a gateway and became a city in itself. For many urbanists, this station is more than an engineering feat. It's a glimpse into how the 21st century's great cities may one day be designed, vertical, integrated, and alive. For Western China, this is more than just a convenience. It's a lifeline. The region's dramatic mountains have long slowed development isolating it from the economic engines of the eastern coast. Now, with Chongqing emerging as a high-speed hub, goods and passengers can flow swiftly to ports, factories, and commercial centers across the nation. The station also strengthens China's Belt and Road Initiative, linking inland provinces to international trade routes through both high-speed and conventional railways. Government officials see Chongqing East as the gateway to growth in western China, a project designed to bridge the economic gap between coastal and inland regions, and in doing so, redefine the geography of opportunity across the world's most populous country. And while sheer size and speed may grab the headlines, sustainability lies quietly at the heart of Chongqing East design. The station meets China's highest three-star green building standard, proving that even a structure of this scale can be both powerful and responsible. Beyond its vast scale, Chongqing East stands as a showcase for China's new generation of low-carbon infrastructure. The station has been certified under the nation's three-star green building standard, the highest rating in China's environmental design system. To earn that distinction, the complex integrates a suite of sustainable technologies. Solar arrays across the roof generate a significant share of the terminal's electricity, 
rainwater harvesting systems feed into on-site treatment facilities, and smart climate controls automatically regulate lighting, ventilation, and temperature based on occupancy levels. A centralized district energy plant provides heating and cooling to both the station and surrounding buildings, cutting total energy use by more than 20% compared to conventional systems. Natural daylight penetrates deep into the concourses through skylights framed by tree-like steel supports, while locally sourced materials reduce the project's carbon footprint. It's a rare example of a megastructure that's both monumental and mindful, proof that sustainability and scale no longer have to be opposites. Across its massive roof, solar panels generate clean energy, while skylights flood the interior with natural daylight, sharply reducing reliance on artificial lighting. The entire district is powered and regulated by a centralized heating and cooling system designed for maximum energy efficiency. Rainwater is collected and reused, and smart climate controls automatically adjust to occupancy levels, minimizing waste and keeping operations finely balanced. Its seamless integration with metro and bus networks means far fewer travelers need to arrive by car, easing traffic, and cutting emissions across the area. But beyond these engineering triumphs lies a larger question. As these transport hubs grow bigger and more intertwined with city life, could they become the new urban centers themselves? Chongqing East might be the first clear sign of that future. It's not just a stop along the journey, it's a destination in its own right, a place where people don't merely pass through, but gather, work, shop, and live, redefining what it means to move through a modern city. Yet behind the awe lies a quieter set of challenges. Building something of this scale in a mountainous region pushed engineering and logistics to their limits, and the costs don't end with construction. Maintenance and energy management for a 30.1 million square feet complex demands enormous annual budgets, while keeping its automated systems calibrated across eight stacked levels poses a constant technical test. Urban planners also face a different kind of pressure, ensuring that the new district surrounding Chongqing East truly thrives, rather than becoming an oversized transit zone. Some experts caution that the city's overall rail demand may take years to fully match the station's capacity, leaving parts of the structure underused at first. Environmental observers, meanwhile, have pointed out the trade-offs of large-scale excavation and land leveling in Chongqing's fragile terrain. For all its brilliance, Chongqing East is a reminder that even the boldest infrastructure dreams must wrestle with gravity, not just of steel and stone, but of sustainability, economics, and time. In the end, Chongqing East redefines what a station and a city can be. Once separated by mountains and rivers, Chongqing now moves as one, connected beneath a single roof. More than a transport hub, it's a living blueprint for how the cities of the future might breathe, move, and grow. If megastructures like this capture your imagination, subscribe and share to explore more stories of how we're reshaping the world, one landmark at a time.